and Cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. The animation team had a lot of fun bringing the food animals to life. The concept of living food was hinted at at the end of the first film with walking chickens and threatening gummy bears. But the directors and our great team of animators at Sony Pictures Imageworks have taken the concept to a whole other level. With such diverse food groups, the question was, how should they move? For each food type, we tried to invent a manner of movement that suited their design and their role in the film. For the pickles, we pretended that they'd only been alive for a short period of time and didn't really know how to move yet. Instead of smooth mechanics, we made them awkward and clumsy in their walks and runs. No, no. We made them highly reactive, like wild feral cats, to give them an unpredictable quality to offset their silly design. Hey, 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 easy, you guys. Come on, you can lose an eye. You, Barry. Babby. And I'm Sam Sparks. <laughs> right. With Barry, we wanted to treat him like a glowing beacon of positivity and innocence. We gave him a high frequency of up-down motion in his walks and used his gigantic eyes to our advantage. We were forced to have a very limited range of motion in his facial expressions due to the seeds that presented an unforeseen challenge with deformations. Luckily, we found that with Barry, less is more. We decided that despite his tiny limbs, he was a ball of energy that could run fast and change direction and use his shape to his advantage by turning into a rolling or bouncing ball through the jungle obstacle course. For the flying foodimals, such as the fruit cockatiels, we felt the design asked for a similar approach as the pickles, and we experimented with a clumsy, arduous flying style inspired by Bubo the Owl from 1981's Clash of the Titans and Woodstock from Peanuts. For the larger foodimals, we felt the best approach was to offset the funny design and make them move with the kind of weight and mechanics one would expect from a big monster movie. The wild scallions move with majestic grace. The binostriches, like a three-way cross between a horse, a dolphin, and a dog. For the water elephants, we decided on a more stylized approach. The tocodile lumbered with great weight, but with the maneuverability of a crocodile. Tocodile supreme. That brings us to the cheese spider. We needed the cheese spider to at first be the most menacing creature imaginable. We gave it weight, but mixed in the agility and speed of a spider. The gang had no hope about running it, so we put obstacles in its way to slow it down to give them a chance. Although cooked well done, the cheese spider was a relentless force of nature. Finding the right personalities and movement for the foodimals was a great collaboration between the filmmakers, artists, and animators at Sony Pictures Animation and Imageworks. Our hope is that audiences enjoy meeting our wacky characters and have fun on this delicious movie journey. Piece of cake! Mm. 